हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विद अविनाश दवी हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू होस्ट वर्ड प्रेस ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस यूस यूजिंग अ फागेट लेट्स सी वॉट वी विल कवर इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वाई दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड and we'll walk through the prerequisite like wordpress docker ecs ecr fagit and then we'll have a live demo now let's look at the why this is required few days back i was working with a, one of my friend to announce the performance of the wordpress website he was facing some time out error and that was a frequently maybe due to some memory exhaustion after finding reason we got that he has configured a cron job which is a php script and running every 5 minute and eating more memory and due to this ec2 was the getting dated and getting time out also after this problem i have done some research and talked to few of the aws community builders they came to conclusion to start to host wordpress site on ecs cluster where can run more than one task and can accommodate a separate infra for running main website and another task can run separate infra for running a cron job in this way the load can be divided and easily a manageable both activity will not disturb each other and this is the reason for selecting aws ecs service over the ec2 to enhance the performance and to be more reliable let's walk through what are the prerequisite and understand the those concept many of you know about the wordpress but people who don't know about the wordpress the wordpress is a free and open source content management system it is majorly used for the hosting the website and creating the blogs it written in the hypertext preprocessor language with the php and pair with the MySQL or MariaDB database with the supported HTTPS. Next is a very famous terminology called Docker. You can see the next image. I am using the Instant Noodle package. The Docker help you to separate out your application from infra so that you can deliver the final product faster. This is exactly similar to making a two minute of instant noodles. While cooking instant noodle, we have to just open the package, put it into the hot water, and then after four or five minutes, it will be ready to eat. And exactly similar, Docker container is the instant noodle package, which we have to just configure the infra and run the application. Whichever the environment is there, whether your local machine, whether the cloud, whether the infra uh, on premises, you just have to run the Docker container. More detail can be find on the Docker official website. Next is Amazon ECR. AWS ECR is container registry. It is an AWS service which enables us to keep a registry of Docker images. where we can store the all the any docker images and pull the inside the aws services whenever it required using the aws credential next is amazon elastic container service we call it ecs so ecs is a service where you can deploy any docker image or host any code inside the container and enable us via at and 443 port to view in the browser using the alb that is the application load balancer this is like a boil water where you can put a multiple instance noodle packet similarly in ecs cluster you can add more number of tasks which is run on the each container now next is the very crucial part of this session is aws fagit AWS Fagit help you to focus on building application without managing server or AWS Fagit remove the operational overhead of scaling patching security and managing server AWS Fagit is a instance noodle masala packet 
विच रिमूव अवर हेड ऑफ मेकिंग नूडल टेस्टियर यू कैन सी इन डायग्राम इट एवल फॉर्गेट हियर वेर यू कैन बिल्ड अ कंटेनर इमेज यू कैन डिफाइन द मेमरी कंप्यूटर रिसर्स रिक्वायर्ड इन टेम्पलेट फॉर्मेट रन एंड मैनेज एप्लीकेशन and it pay for the requested compute and resources whenever it whatever it is get used application isolation by the design that's how the exactly the aws forget work now we will do the actual demo so let's walk through how to create the aws ecs cluster using the forget and host the wordpress website So he, this is the AWS console. You can create your AWS account using your email address, and make sure you're using a free tier, and make sure you're using a free tier ECS clusters only. So I have already in the ECS cluster a console, so I'll just click on the get started with the application. So here we are in a create cluster. The first step is like to create a cluster. So I click on the Get cluster. I'll give a name here. Testing WordPress subnet and the VPC. I'll keep it as default. Will not play around it with that. Okay, is a by default template. You can, if you want to change specifically any rule, you can do that. Default namespace. I'll create a keep it the same as the cluster name. If you want to change it, that also can possibility. Here by default we are clicking on the AWS Fargate server layer. Uh, if you want to have a specific critical to EC2 instance, like when you are having a large workload, right, and the consistent demand for the resources, you can click on the here EC2 instance and select the specific ASG that is the uh, security group, auto scaling security auto scaling group, and operating system which you want to select it, which instance type you want to select it, and if you want any SSS key or this part, you can select it. And you can have a desired capacity like task. How much? How many minimum tasks you want to run? How many maximum tasks you want to run? You can select here. In our case demo, we will not have that Amazon EC2 instance, so I will uncheck this one. This is like external instances using the ECS anywhere. This monitoring optional and tag optional will not uh, do it. Uh, tag is for the all the meta information. You can tag your project name and your email, email address, uh, respective why you are doing it. What is the project name for it? Let's click on the create. Now, cluster creation in the progress. Meanwhile, when cluster creation in progress, we'll just go to the. We can find see that what is happening in the cloud formation. If you click on the view cloud formation, we landed in the cloud formation cycle here. You can see here the cluster is getting created in progress, and so everything is happening like in any AWS creation creation is through the cloud formation only. So that you can track it here. So we'll so. The still is in progress, so I'll just go to the creating the task definition. The task definition is something like which we have to decide. Okay, for the ECS cluster, what will be the base image? Like you remember, we just created the Docker WordPress and push it to the ECR image, right? We have to use that ECR image while creating a task definition. So we'll just go to the create task definition. Right here, WordPress family, and you give a name here WordPress. Here we have to specify the container details. So here we can have a uh, Docker image URL. We'll just see ECR, ECR. Sample WordPress is there. Just click on it. Click on the copy URL and come back to the container part. Test it here. So here our the Docker URL will be using from the ECR container. If you have any private registry, you have to click on it and the specific, specific secret thing you have to mention it here. We don't have a because we are using internal AWS accounts only. We do not require that part. 
is a by default container port which we have to run it. If you have to run to the HTTPS also, you can add extra port mapping using the HTTP protocol. Select the HTTPS here and continue. If you want to specifically pass any environment variables like a environment, like a test environment, dev environment, trace or production, right? Feel free to create here, add environment. This is a health check optional part is there where you can run some health check command uh, by using the curl command. And suppose we have a local slash wp config.php or setting.php that you can mention it here. So this will keep triggering, checking that whether WordPress is uh, live or not. So these are the all optional field. We'll just click on the next part. Here we have selected the by default AWS Fargate service list. The options are either Amazon EC2 instance or Fargate server list. We'll select the Fargate one. We have to select our operating system which we want to use it. We'll select on the Linux one. CPU size, memory size. In our demo, it's not required much. So we have to select the 0.5 CPU size and yeah, the yeah, 0.25 CPU size, we have to select not valid, maybe 0.5. Here the content size is there. If you want to add the content CPU maybe more, you can add it here also. I'll select the existing task roles. This is I created existing task role. Let me just show you the task role, what is there inside that one. So if you are not having existing task role, just go to IAM and create an ECS task role. So ECS task execution role. The policy is about giving the all the authorization to ECR, like get authorization token, batch check the layer availability, get download URL for layer, batch gate images, create log team and put log event. So make sure you use the by default Amazon ECS task execution role policy. For the creation, you can select it and attach to that particular role. And that role you can select it in the integration part. Network mode will be by default with AWS VPC, which we are selecting here earlier. Storage, if you want to assign it here, you can assign it here. Minimum storage, I have to give the 21 GB. In our demo, without required, we're just going to showcase like how the WordPress look like it. These are the further details for log creation. If you want to create a log, collect the log, you can select click on the use log collection, and that can be a dump on the AWS cloud world. If you don't want to do that, you can untake this one. The trace collection also there, but trace collection. The log collection, trace collection, and metrics collection, these are the three pillars of the observability matrices. I'll click on the next and just have a summary. Look into it, whether it's right or wrong. And then click on the creator. Once you click on the create, it is already successfully created. You can run this task using, just click on the deploy option here, create service or either you create a task. We'll just create a service here. We'll directly click on service. It will land it to the cluster part. Or you can directly go to the cluster and create service also. Vice versa, you can do it. I'll select the cluster testing WordPress here. Capacity provided and launch type is here. You can see the by default one. Target base image zero and wait one. Here, nothing to change with the service. Maybe by default template will use it here. You can use a your WordPress hosting service now. Desired task to start when you launch it. If you want to start with the two tasks, it will start with the two tasks also. You can mention the number here. Your deployment option will be there. What is the minimum running task percentage should be there when you the add the extra task that you can mention here. Here's the same networking will be there. We have to see that whether you have to see security group, existing security group, or the new security group. If you want to create a new security group, you have to click on new security group here and uh, select the particular values that. So the security group, I have enabled the particular part. Uh, I'll just open it. EC to console.
find out the security then you can use the security group in one group here you can see the roles are there in the zero zero so like all traffic and don't i'll recommend don't give all traffic to zero zero for this setting purpose i'm just giving the all traffic to zero zero to showcase that based on your network policy choose your right IP address or right VPC group, or if you are using the VPN, choose that VPN IP address to give up more security to the your infra. So I'll just click on it. We'll create a security group here, new, WordPress, SG, security group or WordPress. Let Currently, all those will be anywhere and I don't public IP is required or not that we can select it here. Turn one, okay. Based on that, the interface ENI will be created. The load balancing option is optional. If you want to have a load balancer, you can select the application load balancer, network load balancer, it will automatically create a load balancer part of there. So if you click on the application load balancer, this will give a existing, so you have to use the existing load balancer, a new one. Based on that, you have to select the particular thing. So we will not select here then. Auto scaling option also there, whether you have to auto scale your initials or not based on your demand that you can click in. When you click on it, the other minimum number of tasks and maximum number of tasks you have to mention it. So whenever there's a demand high, it automatically scaled up whenever the demand low it automatically scaled down so now wordpress hosting is getting created similar thing you can find out in a cloud formations how it is getting created i see the WordPress hosting security get created and next ecs service is getting created security group is completed And keep refreshing it to see that under the template you can see the what are there inside that like you are asking for a security group asking for the easier task definition everything is involved in whatever is that is the form permission we we'll go back to ecs console and keep watching and what's happening in there Like it's almost completed, it took a few minutes to complete. Task is also getting ready. Click on the task. Let's see if it's one top. You can see the IP address here. Okay. When you click on the open address, you will be able to see the setup Ooh, that's it our the wordpress setup now you might think that how easy to host the wordpress using the ecs cluster with the help of the aws target it was similar what we have done is we have taken the docker image from the wordpress we have pushed that the docker image to ecr container and then in the ecs we have created the ecs cluster after the cluster creation we have created the task definition after task definition, we have deployed task definition to particular ECS cluster. While doing the ECS cluster, we have to make sure that we will align with the right security group and give the proper uh, network security policy on that. Then only we'll be able to see that particular thing. If you want to use the load balancer, if you want to use the domain or auto scaling, feel free to use. There's the option is available. That's about this whole demo. Thank you for watching session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.